We're going to talk about, briefly about pen care, look at uh, scale 918. We're going to talk about the difference between skin and skeletal. Skin, it was, I just showed you, this is skeletal. Visualize a human foot on the end of this pipe. This is bolts put through a person's leg. They would run through the leg and you might see bolts on the end or bolts here with the rope going through the bolts, going down to a weight. So the bolts would have string, a rope going down through here to a weight that's freely hanging, okay? So this would be skeletal traction. If you have a chance to see it in the hospital, take a look at a patient, ask permission, take a look at their pulleys. The rope would be through here. The main things you need to know is you still assess the seven Ps, you still assess the neurovascular, assess the Holman sign, have somebody help hold the leg while you assess and flex their foot. You also need to perform, after the seven Ps, you need to do a skin assessment. If they have, I'm going to lay it down here, my videotape lady, I'm going to lay it down so you can see sideways. If I, they do have bolts on, in through their legs, you need to put on exam gloves. Don't bare hand these. Put on exam gloves. Check your doctor's orders for how to clean these. You need to look for certain things. You need to look for bowing of the boat. So if this boat was bowed, like bowed, tinting. What if the skin was growing up? on the boat like this. This is tenting. The boat was, the skin's growing up the boat. Think of a tent. Tenting. You need to look for redness, drainage, and pus. You may want to do a culture if, if you see that, but check your orders. You need to assess them for, uh, I said tenting, I said uh, drainage, temperature. You, even with your glove on, you can feel around the boats. Is their skin warm compared to the other leg that's unaffected leg? So check for warmth. Redness, temperature, bowing or bending of the pins, and tinting where the skin grows up the bolt. There is one doctor, uh, Dr. Uh, Zeke uh, and Z uh, Zeta, they like to have you to buff their pins. I'm going to show you. This is not a sterile procedure, it's a clean procedure. Put on your exam gloves, get you a gauze. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to buff your pins. You can describe this to your person checking you off. But you're going to open your gauze up and not touch the end of, inside of it. You're going to actually take this and buff your pen like this to get the skin down. So I'm buffing the pen down close to the end of the insertion. Get you another gauze and do the other side. But buff down the pen to get the skin off of the bolt. That's buffing. The other thing to have you do is to clean this pen. Clean the pen. You want to make sure that you uh, do pen care. The pen care would be using sterile technique. There's your betadine swabs. Betadine swabs. If the doctor says betadine, if he says half and half peroxide and betadine, you'd have a bottle of solution. But I'm going to use betadine. So check your doctor's orders. Open this up, and if you don't touch the ends of your swabs, they are sterile. You would take your swab one at a time and go around, circular action, around your pen, okay? And you'd get rid of it. Get you another swab and go around the pen again, circular action, okay? And you do each pen this way, and you'd go up the pen as you went. Go close to the skin and then go up. And then you, uh, it would tell you to clean the pens. It says start at the insertion site and working outward. That means out, if you, if you have a lot of these bolts or pens, Go outward, further out, target area, and up the bolt. Make sure you get all the drainage off of there. So sterile technique, use sterile gloves if you have them available, or you can use clean procedure, check with your hospital policy, place application in the solution, or use these betadine swabs. Clean outward, use each applicator once. Use a new applicator for each pin site, so don't use a swab here, here, and here. Use one or two, use three or more here. Three or more there, three or more there, and again, you may have to have a whole bunch of, of, of those. And then you still want to tell them to turn, cough, deep breathe every two hours and do your seven Ps on both legs, the one with the bolts in, the skeletal traction, and the one without. Thank you.